So now we have the preset saver tab here, you can your tools and paste them in the flow whenever you need them. So to save the tools, you can select the tools and enter the name and hit the save button. Now if I delete the tools and click on the save name, you can see it appeared in the flow. And you can see all the tools appeared in the right place. I have saved some of the tools as you can see. You can delete the preset just press and hold the control button and left click on the preset name from the list. You can also export preset one by one just click and hold the shift button and then left click on the preset name and select the folder and preset should be exported as you can see. You can also export preset all at once just by clicking the export button. You can search the preset, just enter the name and hit the search icon and the preset should be listed. There will be more features in the preset tab tuned for that. Font browser helps you to change font for all the text node all at once and also lets you see the individual font style with name. You can change the font style just by selecting the text node and left click on the font name from the list. You can select as many text node as you want and hit the font name, it's gonna apply the font to the selected node. Now if you want to see the custom name in the preview list with custom color, you can enter the name on the text field and hit enter and the list should be updated with the custom name with the color that the active text node has. And if you hit the refresh button, the list should be updated with the corresponding font name with the style. Hit to select the tools for macro, you need to first select all the tools, and then active the tool that you want the output from. As you can see I clicked that merge node, cause I want this for output. If you're not active any tool, it won't gonna work. Now hit get tools. Now select the tool from the list that you want to add the input from. You can search for any input from here. As you can see, I'm adding the styled text input. When you add any input, that list will show you the inputs that you selected from that tool. By default, all the inputs set to control page. Now let me show you how to work with the labels. So now I'm going to add all the colors and some other inputs from that background tool into a color label. So let's make a color label and just leave the number as it is. You can also create that label later, I'm just showing you. Now select the input that you want to be nested from and hit the color label. Now start to add inputs and also count how many inputs you're going to add to that label. As you can see, I added 24 inputs from that node. So now I'm going to insert 24 into the number box and in the name section, you should put the same name to update the count value and then hit add label. You can do this any point off time, but be sure to add the same name, space also count. Now here you can name your macro and select the type by the group and macro. As you can see a macro generated from the editor and you can also see all the inputs are in the right place. Let's just delete this macro and see other features. Now we are going to see how to add external inputs like mass. Now select the tool from the list and search for the effect mass and then add the input. Now if you just paste, you can see mask input has been added. If I now connect any mask to that input, you can see it's working perfectly. You can also remove inputs from the add list just by clicking it. And now if I hit paste, you can see the mask input has gone. Now let's add a tab. Remember by default tab name set to controls, it means until you select any tab from the list, all the inputs going to be added in the controls page. Now select the input and then hit the color tab. As you can see, all the inputs after the type gone to the color tab. The moment you select a tab from the tab list, it start to add inputs to that tab. And if you again want to add inputs to the control page, you need to create a controls page with no space and first ladder must be capital later and then select the control page again. And from then it will start to add inputs to the controls page. We can also change the name of the input. So we're going to change the name from size to name and remember that we selected the color tab. So it'll be on the color tab and we are modifying this input so the input tab will be set to color. So if you don't want it, you can add a controls page and select it. So it's just changed the page to controls. Now select size and type any name to the search bar and then hit set. 
can see it's no longer in the controls page. It's in the color page and the name has been changed. Now in the 2D tab, you'll find shape and texture tab. In this shape tab, this are the macros I created. This is not the fastest shape tools, but this has so many things you can control within one node. Now on the 2D tab, you'll find Texture tab. In this tab, you'll find many texture that you can apply on objects. As you can see, I already have a circle. So I want to apply some texture to it, so by selecting the node, if I left click on any texture, it should apply the texture to the object. And then if I want to change the texture, you can select the texture node and left click on the desired texture, the texture should be changed. And you'll find all the controls in that texture node to control the node. Next we have Ease tab this in the early stage, currently I'm not showing you the work for the slider tool as I'm working on that and has some bug. So I'm going to show you the work for the preset one only. So to use this tool first animate any input and then selecting the node, hit the refresh button and select the times that you want to apply the preset and click on the live update button to change it live. As you can see the spline is changing based on the spline I selected. And remember, as soon as you hit the refresh button, you can't change the spline. Next, we have little code editor and interpreter. You can write code and test stuff more easily as the default console. So let's create a new code. You can run code by pressing this button, and then you press the console button to bring up the console tab. As you can see, the code is executing perfectly. And if you press this button by selecting any node, it'll print the attributes to the console. And if you control click on the button, it'll set to live code mode. Now if you type anything, it'll start to executing. Now we have expression tab. This tool helps you to see the live preview of the expression. First add any expression to any input, and then by selecting the node, hit the refresh button, and the input should be listed. And now if you start to type anything in the text editor, you can see it's reflecting on the expression. Normally, you can't see the live preview, but here you can see it's updating real time. And here is preset that you can quickly add to your code editor. Just click on the preset. And if you control click on the preset name, it'll remove all the code and add the preset to the editor. And if you enter the name and hit the save button, it'll add the expression to the expression tab. You can also use that expression tab to save the expressions. You can turn on and off the live update mode by control clicking. If you have same input in all your selected node, and you want to apply the expression to all that selected node input, you can select all the node and control, click on the input name the expression should apply to all the node inputs as you can see. I'm going to add this expression to all the ellipse node. Select all the ellipse node and then control click on the input name. As you can see all the node with input has the expression on it. And if you want to remove the expression you can do the same, but this time you have to shift click the input name. As you can see, all the expressions are removed. Now this tab will help you to go in different keyframe and you can make your own list to go back and forth. I'll make more in-depth video about this tools. Please comment below which tool you want to learn in depth.